guys. Welcome back to the channel, I'm yes. Tim. And I'm Sean. <laughs> so today we're going to have pizza. Yes, our favorite. So this is very special because it reminds me of my childhood. Um, we used to go before to a resort or a hotel. The name is Gulf Hotel back in Abu Dhabi. And I remember that they would usually bake this fresh pizzas. And when this came in the house today, when they delivered it, it reminded me of that smell. Oh, it smells good. It smelled like authentic Italian pizza. Mm. Where we ordered it, so we're confused on what's the right pronunciation. So mm -hmm. if you do know, please comment down below. Yes. Okay. But we got from Amarela Cochina. I hope Cochina. We, yeah, uh, we hope we pronounce <laughs> we it right. <laughs> Which please help us. Yeah. Maybe in the comment section or it's up to you. But I always thought maybe it's Amarela Cochina. But now, since we're watching a lot of Netflix and we can hear the foreign languages there, mm -hmm. so I'm afraid that we butchered the correct pronunciation. Yeah. So if you do know, please correct us. Please yes, correct please. us. <laughs> Is it La Cucina or La Cucina? Okay. Yes. So this is... Uh, this is Romano. And then this is Alvin's Pizza. Yes, because it has basil, um, some plum tomatoes, um, there's bacon, and I'm expecting that there's also some prosciutto, but at the moment I can't see it. I hope there is. <laughs> and then we ordered, uh, I ordered an extra bell pepper and onions because I like my pizza a little bit crunchy. Like me too. Oh yeah, me too. Of course. And this one is Romano. This is Sean's choice. Yeah. Um, this was I, this was the second pizza after margarita because um, I've used to ordering margarita so on I'll the order, menu on the menu yeah. so I want to try the next one uh -huh. which is la romana yes Rom romano ah, romano 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 I find it unique because um, it has some Spanish sardines I believe it's nice, going to be like nice. the first pizza we're gonna try that has Spanish sardines in mm -hmm. it. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. And then we have also the dip. There's honey and dried chili. I think that's chili oil. No, yeah. it's honey. Oh, okay. Honey. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. So let's begin. So which one will we try first? Mm, maybe this one. Okay. I'll try to take this one. It's also not not too thick, mm -hmm. mm. but you know it's really fresh. Look how soft is that! Wow. Mm, I want to have this every day. No, <laughs> just kidding. But I, I mean, do want to <clears throat> have it a lot. Our favorite pizza is Genus Birkoven, right? Mm -hmm. But to compare it with this one, it's really fresh. You can tell it's freshly baked. Mm. Got a little peppercorn back there. I couldn't handle peppercorn, so I have to put it out. But it's really good. The crust is nice, no? Mm. Soft. See, look how soft is that, though. Mm -hmm. I can eat the, the crust. I can eat it. Mm. This pizza. Yes. I'm so excited. Let's do 
Okay. So I got this from my Ate Lynn. Thank you for the question. So the question is, would you rather have just your upper teeth or lower <gasps> teeth? Oh no, that is a very hard question because I love, I love to eat my food with both my teeth, upper and lower. <laughs> So maybe I'll go with the lower teeth <laughs> because, well, cows can chew their food with just their lower teeth. So huh? It might work on me, I guess, but I cannot bite though. So I have to slice it here and put it in my mouth and come out. <laughs> it's so hard. For me, maybe the upper teeth. Mm -hmm. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard, Gabby. I know. I mean, how can you enjoy the food with one set of mm, teeth? Uh -huh. Would you rather be smart but broke or rich but stupid? Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe. I want to be rich and stupid if I stay rich my whole life. <laughs> my people can just um, think I'm stupid, but hey, I have the money. Yeah. I do the same. I just wouldn't go hungry. And then, in the way, I'd use the money to still help other people. Oh, yeah. That is very Maybe important. Maybe hire smart people to work for mm. me and give me advice on what to do yeah. with my wealth. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is from Jossa. Would you rather be happy and content but not achieve much or never be satisfied but achieve a lot? Oh, that's another tough question. Maybe for me, not really a final answer, but Maybe I'll go with the first one. Maybe, maybe. Or maybe. Which is happy and content. Yeah, because, you know. At some point. At some point. Enough should be enough. Yeah, at some and point. And be thankful for what you yeah, have. Yeah. There, 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 there will come a time, even though you accomplished a lot of things, and you're, not, you're still not satisfied. Um, you are not going to either be happy and content and achieve less. So that I can live my life to the fullest. I can spend time with my family, with you, with little Maddie. So I'll be happy. I will not be stressed. I might live longer, by the way. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because, what was the second one? Satis I don't mind going yeah. with the second one. Never be satisfied mm -hmm. but achieve a lot. Mm -hmm. I think it, it, it inspires a person mm -hmm. to move, keep on excelling mm -hmm. and moving forward. Mm -hmm. Like, never settle. Mm -hmm. Never yeah. settle. You know there's always something better after the tunnel. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think there's a right line for that. Light under the tunnel. <laughs> Light at the end of the tunnel. At the end. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that saying. Oh yeah. I think the perfect answer to that is there has to be a balance. There has to be a balance to both. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong. Oh yeah. I mean, I I always tell Sean I envy people who are satisfied with what they already have. And I think it's it's utter bliss. Oh yeah. I think not everyone is blessed with contentment but if I did have that mindset I'd probably be happy too mm. guys by the way it is really good mm. Mm. the crust my gosh it's really good it's really soft it's really chewy everything is fresh mm. and the ingredients are of premium quality mm -hmm. oh yeah see even the last part I'm eating it I'm not the crust person, but I'm eating it. Oh. Okay. Would you rather spend $5,000 on traveling 
or in a physical item like a TV? I'll go travel. I'll, I'll choose travel mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I would go with travel. Live for the moment. Oh, yeah. No. TV. Yeah, fine. It's entertaining, but when you travel, you learn and you get entertained. Right? Right? I'm sure most of you guys travel a lot too, but not now because because of the pandemic. Mm. But hopefully everything will be fine and we can all travel. Yeah. Okay, last question. Would you rather not shower for a week or not Ooh. brush your teeth for a week? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, first I'll take the one with the big bump here. See? Okay, maybe I can. <laughs> Those are two uh, <laughs> silly questions. I would go with um, not take a shower for a long time. Because um, if I well, the question is not brush your oh. teeth, so it means you can still gargle or use your finger. Yeah, I know. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is, I'd rather go with not brushing. Uh, with I would go with um, not taking a shower, but I need to brush my teeth. I need to shower <laughs> because, for example, if I don't shower for the next few weeks, I mean, I'm I'm gonna still be alive and. I might stink, but whereas yeah, but even if you're not able to brush your teeth, but you when you take a shower, you partially gargle, right? Oh and yeah, then, oh, oh, hot yeah. water. Oh. Thanks, Thanks again, again for, for watching. watching. See you on the next video. Yes. Bye. Bye.